Welcome back to another video on this channel, which is entitled Sports Talk with Kendrick. And I am Kendrick. And in this video, I'll be going over one of my favorite WWE superstars to this date. The Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins. <sighs> Seth Rollins has been one of my favorite superstars since he pretty much stepped foot. Uh, being a part of the Shield with him and Ambrose and Rollins, Ambrose and Reigns, and um, I've always been a fan, you know, and I always knew whenever he branches off and be a single, big things are coming. Uh, a two-time Universal Champion, a two-time WWE Champion, two-time Intercontinental Champion, a 2014 Money in Bank winner, and arguably the greatest cash in ever at WrestleMania 31 against his shield brethren Reigns and Brock Lesnar a United States champion 2019 Roy Rumble winner a six time tag team champion with Reigns Ambrose twice Jason Jordan Braun Strowman and Buddy Murphy Buddy Murphy. His accolades speaks for himself. And I wanted to speak about Rollins because, you know, not only because he's one of my favorites, but um, in these videos, you know, going over a superstar, I'll be going over, you know, my favorite matches of them, uh, honorable mentions that's, that didn't quite make it in my favorite matches of them. And I will be talking about and showing you guys, actually, when I first saw this superstar live in the most recent uh, event that I went to and I saw them live. So this is just something that I'm going to do as far as WWE superstars that I've seen personally. Uh, going over the accolades and just saying... Uh, why I like them, first of all, and their favorite matches of mine. That's pretty simple. And the first superstar that I want to talk about is Seth Rollins. So, just to go straight into it. My honorable mentions of matches that I liked with Rollins. Uh, three of them, you know. Rollins and Triple H, WrestleMania 33. Didn't quite make my, make my list because, you know, um, the bill was great. Very great. You know, one of the best matches on that card with the actual story. Um, we talk about, you know, Brock and, you know, um, Goldberg, Reigns and Taker. This match for sure had that crazy build towards the match. And then the match itself was solid. It was good. It was solid. But, um, you, know, it, you know, it was all right to me. Uh, number two, Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar from SummerSlam 2019. Phenomenal match for sure. You know, but... Rollins lost the title right again to um, he only held the title for like what <sighs> like, like maybe a couple months until he lost to The Fiend Bray Wyatt then that led to his ultimate turn you know, to the Monday Night Messiah. You know, teaming up with AOP, Buddy. You know what I'm saying? And number one of honorable mentions that didn't quite make my favorite matches of Raw's list is the Royal Rumble 2015. When he, when Rollins was the Money Bank, was holding the Money Bank contract against John Cena and Brock Lesnar. Great match. In my opinion, the best match on that card. 
But it just didn't make my list, man. It didn't make my list. My top five favorite matches of Seth freaking Rollins. Starting with number five. Money in the Bank 2016. When Roman Reigns defending the WWE Heavyweight Championship against the returning Rollins. Rollins unfortunately got hurt when he was a champion. He when he was a champion, um, he was out for a, a year and some change. Comes back, and um, he returned at payback. At the Reigns defeated AJ Styles for the WWE title, and they had their little feud, Rollins and Reigns. Then that led up to the match at Money in the Bank 2016. Phenomenal match. Every match that Roman and and Seth had, had has had has been top notch, crazy, and that's why it's on the list. Obviously, number four. I don't remember what pay per view this was. I think it was a Raw actually, or even a um, a pay per view. I think it was Hell in a Cell. Or, um, yeah, I think it was Hell in a Cell when Rollins and Ambrose went up against Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Tag team wrestling at its finest. Insane match. And, you know, Ziggler was in there. So, you know, I had to put Ziggler in there somehow. Uh, Number three... On my list of favorite matches of Seth Rollins. Backlash 2018. When Rollins defended the Intercontinental Championship against The Miz. This match, man, had it all. It was crazy top to bottom. And number two kind of goes with this match. Right before this match at WrestleMania 34. A triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship when Seth Rollins went against Finn Balor and the then champion, The Miz. What a great match to start that event. Uh, Seth Rollins was the first person to come out. And I was kind of kind of hoping Finn Balor wins this. I'm more of a... At that time, anyway, I was more of a Finn Balor guy. So I was like, okay, you got to put this title on, on Finn, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and they didn't do it. I was happy for Rollins, but, you know, I was hoping for Finn. My top number one favorite match of Seth Rollins is Money in the Bank 2019 AJ Styles Seth Rollins. My top two favorites in a match. I had to put it number one. And this is this match was kind of like uh, baby versus baby, but one baby acting hillish to get the title. So, you know, AJ acting a little hillish in in this feud, and um, it, it, and they. It, and they both played their part for the Universal Championship, you know. And Rollins won, of course, because he just got it at that point. You know, defeating Brock Lesnar for the title at WrestleMania. And, um, yeah, man. A crazy time. A crazy time. So those are my favorite matches of Seth Rollins. And honorable mentions. So... When I first saw, I first saw Seth Rollins in 2017 at a live event in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, I think the very first event that I went to without my mom, uh, and it was with my little brother as well. So uh, it was Seth Rollins going up against. Seth Rollins was teaming up with Ambrose against The Miz and Curtis Axel.
is just incredible. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, what he's doing, his character, and um, I, I love it. Promos as well. I love it all. You know, putting guys that really didn't have any much TV time and had no really true direction as far as their characters in um, AOP. And, of course, Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy. You know, and um, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited as far as what's in store for Rollins, you know, in the future. Um, possibly another WWE title run. Um, or maybe getting the, you know, the U.S. title. You know, he only held it once, um, as I mentioned before. So, um, Seth Rollins, you know what I'm saying? And the next person that I'll be going over is the one and only boss, Sasha Banks. Going over her accolades, going over my favorite matches of hers, and when I first saw her, and the last time I saw her live. So uh, check out that video. Look out for that video. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let you guys know when I post. You know, and um, I'm out.